Good morning, everyone. So it is our last full day on the Jewel of the Seas. Um, so today is our second at sea day, and we will be arriving back in Miami early tomorrow morning. So we're just gonna have a nice relaxing day today. So something really cool about Royal Caribbean is that there are a lot of free activities to do compared to MSC. Um, besides the mini golf, you can play shuffleboard. Um, there's also um, a court where you can uh, play soccer or basketball. Um, there's even a free rock climbing wall. So yeah, it's pretty cool. There's definitely a lot of things to do on this ship. Um, definitely you won't get bored here. Tonkatsu ramen. Um, yeah, it has some traditional things inside. I uh, have a uh, hard boiled egg, there's some seaweed, and um, chasu pork. Uh, yeah, this one did come with udon and not ramen noodles, but that's okay because I really do like udon better than the ramen noodles, anyways. Um, this, uh, this soup does look more like kind of white color compared to like the miso ramen that I'm used to, but. I think um, that's because the tonkatsu broth they use here um, is more clear color than, than the other ones that I've had. But yeah, I'm excited. It smells really good. finished dinner at Izumi. Um, yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, the tonkatsu ramen was flavorful. Um, the broth was nice. Uh, yeah, the noodles, yeah, the udon noodles don't really go well with ramen. Uh, ramen noodles definitely um, give it a better flavor, but udon noodles are nice. Um, I do like having udon. Um, yeah, the chasu and the uh, boiled egg were uh, average, uh, the same kind of flavor as you'd expect in a tonkatsu ramen. Yeah, overall it's good. It wasn't too overpriced. It was $13, uh, plus a bit of tax. So yeah, it was average price for a tonkatsu ramen. Everything else on the menu was like really overpriced, but um, since we are on a cruise, um, that's probably why. Yeah, the other things are pretty expensive. I did see uh, $17 for a chicken or beef teriyaki bowl, and that was a bit expensive. Um, so yeah, the ramen was good though. I'm happy with my choice. Yeah, now we are going to watch the show at the Coral Theater. Yeah, uh, it's some kind of uh, acrobatics tonight, I think. But yeah, I think that should be pretty cool. Um, all the shows so far on Royal Caribbean were good and I like them. So I have uh, 
high expectations for this one too. We just got back to our room from the Choral Theater. Um, yeah, the acrobat show was really cool. I was very impressed by the different tricks by the acrobats. You can definitely tell they were professionals. Um, yeah, definitely, like I said before, the shows on Royal Caribbean and the entertainment, even the nightlife, everything entertainment-wise was really amazing on Royal Caribbean. Uh, not to say MSC's entertainment was not good, but you can definitely tell the shows on MSC were more like amateur compared to um, the ones on Royal Caribbean that were done by professionals. 
Um, and you can tell Royal Caribbean does spend a lot of budget on their shows from all the set changes to the costume changes. Um, everything is done very, um, very well here. The shows are very organized. Um, something else I really liked on Royal Caribbean is the app. Uh, what they lack in organizing in other ways they do organize very well in the app. Um, so the app, if you download the Royal Caribbean app um, prior to boarding, it does have all the information you need, such as um, all the menus from the restaurants, all the activities from the schedule. You can also check your uh, onboard account uh, regularly to see all the charges that you accrue every day, <laughs> drinks and um, internet and other stuff, restaurants. So that is something I do really enjoy um, on Royal Caribbean. Um, yeah, on MSC, they don't have an app, but it is kind of nice to um, have that surprise every day of what's going to be at the main dining restaurant today. It does make you want to go back every day and see what kind of uh, menu items they might have. Also, you can book your excursions with Royal Caribbean on their app for the days that we are um, not at sea. You can also make reservations for the restaurants that cost extra on the app, so you don't really need to um, call the reservations line or you don't have to go to the restaurant to uh, make reservations. It is super convenient. So that is something Royal Caribbean does do a lot better. Um, yeah, so we have a very early start tomorrow. We have to be up at six as we will be uh, disembarking the ship around 7.30 very early, and then a four-hour drive back up to Miami. So yeah, we're gonna get ready to go to bed now. Well, good morning, everyone. It is six in the morning. Um, getting ready to grab some quick breakfast from the breakfast buffet and um, disembark the ship today. So thank you everyone for watching. It was a great experience overall on World Caribbean's Jewel of the Seas. So yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.